Welcome back to the Golden Pig server, and welcome back to my house. Uh, you may or may not be aware, but earlier in the week I was the recipient of a prank at the hands of the ever-so-generous Not Another Video Gamer, who stuffed my house with crafting tables. Thanks for that, buddy. Right. When I logged in, I was, I was inside the house, and uh, found myself displaced into a small cave underneath the house, and I uh, had to dig my way out, which was fun. Uh, since then, I've remodelled this downstairs room a bit, uh, given it a nice sort of black and white floor using basalt and marble to give it a nice kitcheny feel, because this is going to be the kitchen. Uh, I've got food in here, all nicely organised, seeds in here, and sort of some miscellaneous stuff and saplings, not so nicely organised, and a worktop in the middle for making me bowls of rice and stuff. And I'm planning on sort of adding some extra furnitures to keep the kitcheny theme going, maybe a nice... Um, table with some chairs around it for breakfast i don't know and, and there were lots of chests in here with gifts in them they've been cleared out um this is the holy dragon dildo that dark crawler gave me which is uh, in quite a poor state of repair that's had a fair bit of use and there's also this rather nifty axe um which is cool and also this this uh, inventory uh, backpack knapsack sorry thing which uh, that doubles my inventory capacity which is going to be very useful as long as i remember to use it Oh, and I've also got these portable tanks. I went for a little trip into the nether, uh, which, uh, oh, and there's a side effect of that as well, which is I can now turn into a ghast. Like that. Who can fly, fly, and just look incredibly, incredibly mean, and, yeah, terrify everyone. Um... See, so yeah, I'm going to need to go back to the nether at some point because I'm going to need lots of glowstone. Um, if we look at uh, things like lamps, there's lots of recipes for lamps which all need uh, glowstone. And Is there anything else that will offer illumination? Uh, road light? Redstone lamps, yeah. I'm, I'm going to need a lot of glowstone anyway to if I really want to light up the house. Oh, and I've also got an enchanting table down here as well. There. Uh, what have I enchanted up there? In fact, let's let's just stop being aghast for a moment because it's it's got its faults. Uh, yes. What have I enchanted? I've got these rather fancy boots, and I've enchanted up this pickaxe, which has got fortune on it, which is quite nice. So I'm going to turn back into a ghast because uh, at the end of my last video, I introduced a cow farm project and uh, invited all the members of the community to join me on that and uh, yeah it's it's taken off is a bat faster let's find out if a bat is faster yeah loads of people have joined in with that and it's just it's it's amazing um one interesting thing about a community project is how the end result can be so different to what you originally envisaged i mean i pictured a, a large barn and a quaint little farmhouse nestled into the existing terrain Vast wheat fields rolling over the hillsides. Um, but what actually happened is uh, basically that the decision was made to just flatten the place and uh, the village sprung up. And uh, it's, it's now quite the, the hub of activity on the server. Yeah, I mean, there's no one else on at the moment other than me. But um, when they are on, the, this seems to be where a lot of stuff is, is going on. Uh, so whose house is this? No clues. Someone lives in there. It looks like it's taken a bit of damage as well. Um, there's one of these smeltery things over here. Uh, all sorts of various tables for crafting stuff. Uh, lots of farms. Apparently pumpkins are very popular. And there's someone's house here. I think this is, is this James's house. Yeah, James Farmhouse. Senor L. James. And uh, yeah, it's got this nice little table, something like that in my kitchen, maybe, I think. Um, a pine shelf, that's cute. Some storage, all sorts of stuff, seeds and plants. Uh, and there's, yes, there's all the farms here. Lots of wheat, berries are plenty. Blackberry bush, I'm not sure if I've got one of those, actually. Uh, and this house, I think this was made by Wuex. Someone said Barnes should be red. You're welcome. Okay, so I guess Wuex originally built the farmhouse, but maybe that the redification has been done by someone else. 
and uh, this portal over there that's the way into the nether and this racket in here betrays what's going on Ooh, glitchy cow yeah this is where all the cows are it's all with a pickaxe there yeah all sorts of interesting hats available in there so fixing this house is long overdue um, as you can see I've already made a start I've enlarged the first floor by one block in each direction which has meant breaking and replacing a lot of glass panes I don't have a silk touch tool yet sadly um, and I've started experimenting with different materials well a bit of jungle wood planks here palm plank stairs underneath to smooth the transition uh, I'll do some new stuff down here as well but uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how this goes so what I want to talk to you about today I want to give you a little lesson in historical architecture now when people started building really huge buildings like cathedrals and such like things much bigger than this the weight of the roof up there dear, oh, this is quite hard to do ne and ne the weight of the roof would cause a lot of force sort of that way this is very unnatural and that way and what would happen is that the walls would just sort of fall over because they were being pushed down and out at that point so to solve this was invented the concept of the buttress so let's let's put in a little buttress here buttress there we go so that's a buttress right but buttresses aren't very cool let's do something cooler let's make a flying buttress so we get rid of the buttress and the flying buttress let's start it about here and then so just join that there temporarily uh, oopsie there we go let's get rid of that get rid of that and there you have it a flying buttress and these are cool but not half as cool as a double flying buttress so what I'm planning on doing here is I'm going to do a bit of experimenting and as you can see this sort of this is just the, the facade at the moment but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a good looking double flying buttress so to help me with making all this work I'm gonna uh, I'm going to make a few carpenter's blocks. So let's, let's start with 15 of them. Uh, how many of these are we going to have? Okay, eight. Well, that, that gives us something to start with, I suppose. Carpenter's wedge slopes. So I'm going, I'm going to want to make this slope. So one there, one there, one there. And let's make them like that. Okay, that's cool, but we want an inverted wedge here, I feel. There's one, and likewise it here, we're going to want a wedge going up there, and a wedge going up there, both of which will be stony. Let's, let's stand back, have a look. I'm not sure I like the way that these interact here. Maybe that needs to support a bit lower. Hmm. No, I might go with that. All right, let's 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 do some more up here. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's let's make some more carpenter blocks and let's finish that off. Pick up all the extras. All right, so there it is on both sides. Yeah, I'm going to need another window up there, but that's part of the plan anyway, because this is going to be the bedroom area upstairs. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with this. Um, it looks a bit like a rocket ship, which I don't mind so much. So, yeah, let's let's continue this. We're going to have another buttress there in the middle another at the back so the back's going to match the front and uh, so let, let's let's finish that off and and bask in our glory okay so here's the finished product we'll do a little 360 so there's the front there's the side with the roof again my experiment with the uh, materials but that's 
And this is what I'm thinking as a starter. Back, same as front. Side, same as the other side. And yeah, I'm going to put some windows in here. Put the bed up there, that's going to be the new bedroom. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the core of my start. Um, I have a slightly grander entrance here. So I might might get rid of the middle three of these steps. Do something a bit archier, a bit awesomer. Um, but yeah, for this video, I think that, that might be sufficient. See you next time. Bye-bye.